Okay, here we are. Part three. We're still dropping a ball. And if you don't remember, in the first video I went through and I used the momentum principle to find out uh, how far a ball would fall and a certain amount of time, I timed it with the video. And then in the second video, I did a numerical calculation to show you that same thing. So I'm gonna do the exact same numerical calculation. However, this time, I am going to visualize it. Okay, so um, I already have, let's just, let, let me just show you something here. In, and I've got a, a, a Python already opened up here. I'm just gonna, I typed in my gravitational field G. I'm just gonna type in this. Oops, I gotta be on this. Sphere parentheses. I'm gonna run it. So this actually makes a three-dimensional sphere. What do you think about that? I can zoom in. I can rotate around, right? It's in 3D. Pretty cool, huh? So we can model the motion of this in 3D and actually get a visual representation in 3D. And you don't need that, but it can give us insight into some problems, especially later. So it is actually gonna be useful. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let me, we're actually gonna be using two objects here. Let's see if I can pull this up. So the first is uh, the object that we're gonna use is a sphere. And so a sphere has, we're, this is the kind of setup that we're gonna have. A sphere has some properties that we want to put in there. The position is the vector location of the center. The radius is the radius of the sphere and the color. And then we're gonna have a ground for the, uh, we're gonna, that's gonna be a type of box. It's, a, it's a, already in there. It also has a position which is the center of that box. And then the vector size, it's a, the x coordinates this size, the y coordinates this size, and the z coordinates back and forth. Okay, so let's go back to my program and let's go ahead and make an object. Let's just get started. Ball equals sphere. So where is that ball gonna start? Let's say it starts at the vector position of one meter above the ground. So it's gonna be zero, one, zero. And I'm gonna, it's a, it's a um, tennis ball. So the radius is, I'm just gonna say 0.02 and it's yellow. So in um, Python, color is a object, and so it has different parameters. So color dot yellow is the yellow color. You can try red, blue, cyan, magenta. You can also do vector colors, but let's just not worry about that. And so let's just let's stop. Let's run it. So there's my ball up there. Okay. It it didn't it put it. Uh, one meter up and it's 0.2 point or two centimeters in, in radius. I think that looks okay. So now let's put a ground So let's put uh, the floor and it's a type of object box uh, so if you ever forget if I go to Glowscript.org Let me pull this down a little bit. Sorry. You can't see and then you click on help Oops and then I go over here to 3D object box. This gives me all the parameters for that box. If you can't remember, you can look it up. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so it's gonna be, the position is going to be equal to, I could put zero, 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 but let's make our box, our, ta our floor, um, let's make it two centimeters wide, okay? So that means I want to, if I want the floor at zero, then I'm actually gonna to to put the, the position a little bit lower. So it's gonna be vector zero, negative point zero, zero, two, zero. And then the size, size equals vector. Okay, so let's see, I want it, let's say 10 centimeters by, uh, 0 0.04 by it doesn't really matter here 10 and let's leave let's leave the color off it'll, it'll make it gray let's see how that looks okay that's a little small let's make it a little bit bigger let's make this uh, three long okay that's good enough so there's my ball there's my floor um, and and you know there's wasted space on here I could re center the camera or move the box down here or whatever, but I wanted that at the origin, so it just makes it easier, so. Okay, 
So now we're going to do our numerical calculation. I, I have just those two things. Uh, let's do, I already have my gravitational field. I do need some parameters of the ball. Uh, so let me do this, print ball.pos. This will give me the vector position of the ball. Right there, see? So that is not quite R, but, but it is the location. So we can use that. Okay, but I don't have the momentum. I can make that ball.p, ball.m equals 0 0.1, ball.p equals ball.m times vector 0, 0, 0. So it starts from rest. Okay, so here I can make up new properties of an object. So I have this object ball. So ball.m is a property of ball. Yes, you could just call it m and p. But when you're dealing with multiple objects, it's just much easier to do it this way. Trust me and believe me later. Trust me. Okay. So now I can do t equals 0, dt equals 0, 0 0.01. And now we'll do our numerical calculation. While, uh, let's do while t is less than 0 0.4. Now here's something that we have to add into our, calc our loop. Since we are doing a visual representation, we need to tell it how fast to update. Okay, so if I do rate 100, this says don't do any more than 100 calculations per second. Since I am dealing with a time step of 0 0.01 seconds, this will be in real time. Okay, which you don't have to do it in real time. You could do it faster or slower, but let's just do it in real time. So the first thing I do is calculate the force, F equals ball.m times G. Then I update the momentum, ball.p equals ball.p plus f times dt. Then I update the position, okay? The position of the ball is ball.pos equals ball.pos plus ball.p times dt divided by ball.m. So this momentum divided by the mass is the velocity. And this, remember, this is the line that I lie. It's cheating because I'm, I, I'm using the momentum at the end of this time interval, not the average momentum, okay? But it, it work. Uh, and then I can do update time, t equals t plus dt. And that's it. Let's save it. And let's run it. Okay, so it didn't always get all the way to the floor, okay? So I could do it a little bit longer. Uh, let's do one other thing here just for fun make trail equals true. Now it'll leave a tra trail. And then you can do uh, dots too. I think that's kind of fun. That made a trail. Um, I want it to hit, I want it to stop on the floor. Okay. So I could do while ball.pos.y is greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. And that should work. Okay, and so this is 3D, look, see, you like that? Okay, let me show you one more thing. Uh, let me go back here, actually I'm gonna show you several things because I can't stop. T less than 0 0.6 colon. What the heck? It went right through the floor. It went right through the floor, yes, because the floor is, th this is just a computer. It's a do it whatever you want it to do, right? I never told it to bounce when it hits the floor. I said, I said, just update the momentum. There are lots of ways to handle dealing with the floor. We could do something like this. Um, I could calculate, let's say, um, R equals ball.pos minus box.pos. Okay, so that's the distance between the two. And then I could say, while magnitude of R is greater than ball.radius plus 0 0.02. Now I need to calculate that again in here. So let's say R equals ball.pos minus box.pos. while that is greater than, it didn't do it. So while is greater than 
to print mag r. I made this mistake on purpose so you could see what I have to do when, when you make a mistake. It didn't print anything. Can I, aha! That's why. Ball dot radius. Ball dot radius is not a vector. Okay, well let's just do this manually. Ball dot pos. Huh. Let's just say point zero four. I don't think that's gonna work though. Yeah. Cannot subtract a vector and a scalar. So I'm subtracting a vector and a scalar. R is ball.pos. See, print R. It's not going to work. I mean, that's the part that I... Huh. It's getting stuck right there. How about this? Print ball.pos. Ah, that's why. It's not a box, it's floor. Oh, it's not four, it's floor. Okay. But now it's still not running. It's printing those while it's greater than 0 0.04. Print, it is greater than 1.04. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon this because I don't really care. So let's say while ball dot pos dot y is greater than zero. Go back to that. Let's see if this works. Ugh! Oh, it's given an error. That's right, because down here, that's why it stopped on here. Floor. And now I can go back over here. While mag r is greater than 0 0.04, now it will run, I think. Okay, and it did stop a little bit there because of the way it moved one more step afterwards. Okay, now let's do something fun. Now let's put the sphere at this place, 0 0.04, and let's put it at negative three, and let's make my floor bigger six and let's give the momentum let's do this let's say four four zero check that out okay so why again this now I need to change this while loop let's say ball dot pos dot y greater than or equal to zero. Check that out. Is that cool? What do you think about that? Okay, so this is getting more useful, right? I can start visualizing things uh, with the ball on the floor. It's the same numerical calculation. I'm gonna get the same numbers, but now I can do some visualizations. Okay, so I will stop there and then you can play around with this. I will link this code in the comments below. See, I'm pointing below. Can you hear that? Okay. So that's the end. Later.